I look paler than a ghost, but we're gonna go with it. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Mitchie Games here, and I'm here with a discussion topic today, the Nintendo NX slash Switch. Um, while the Nintendo Switch is now called, it was originally called the Nintendo NX. And we're gonna get to some huge topics today about information, specs, what it could be, what it couldn't be, and just a little bit more information about that. But the first thing I want to kind of really talk about is one everything has been talking about has been the fact that 2K and Bethesda don't have games confirmed for the system. Despite the fact that Nintendo heavily use both those footages inside of the game. Um, that's really kind of a little bit of a sore subject right now because both Bethesda and 2K have both said, we really don't have anything. We just worked on videos and gave it to them and said, here you go. So basically that's a little bit of an issue right now because uh, despite the fact that Nintendo has all these third party supporters, that there's, there's, there's nothing there right now. They have a total of right now nine launch titles um, that have been either confirmed or somewhat confirmed versus Xbox's 21 and PS4's 25 both when they had launch. So the, the, Nintendo's going to have to step up the gate quite a bit because right now it's lacking in that department and out of those nine titles I think four or five of them are first party titles. Titles that Nintendo pushes out. So, I mean, X. I mean, Nintendo. You gotta step up your game a little bit on that one. But, but we will see. Um, I feel like a couple of those third parties are just kind of, kind of wait and see how well it does, and how well the marketing is gonna be this time around for the Nintendo Switch. Despite the fact that basically the Wii U's marketing was so poor, that I could see Nintendo Switch outselling the Wii U. In basically the first year easily yeah so we'll see how that goes um I would love to have the opportunity to play Skyrim on the go if I'm on a plane or something like that or yeah I just kind of need something to do so I would love to see if they could um, redo the operating system as well and actually kind of uh, see switch it around a bit because the Nintendo's operating system or whatever they do for it their desktop area is just terrible right now. But another thing I also wanted to talk about too was the batteries on this thing. Now while they are using the NVIDIA Integra style chip in the system, uh, it's all going to be powered inside of the tablet is what we're assuming. Um, the, the docking station is just it. It's just a docking station that will output to the basically the TV. <clears throat> so I asked you this question how powerful is the chip really going to be and how draining the batteries are going to be as well. I can see it being an issue as a handheld thing. Um, not so much if it's hooked up to the TV, obviously it's going to have consistent power. But when you're going and playing um, 2K or Bethesda's Skyrim or even Mario, how badly is that battery going to drain? As well as let's say I want to put that screen down and do it like the little two-handed controls how much of those batteries gonna last and those controls before the controls die and then you gotta manage that with the tablet um, if you're doing the pro controller or the screen just alone if you were to take the screen out of the dock let's say it's fully charged you're still gonna have three batteries you're gonna have one for the, t the screen and one for each joystick in case if you remove them if you put them together, you can still kind of run them all off as one thing, so that's not a big deal there. But let's say I want to put it down, two controllers, I am playing. You're running three different batteries at once. And I think they're going to probably use some sort of, I don't know if they're going to use Bluetooth per se for the controllers. I doubt it. Um, because Bluetooth, while it's commonplace, is not necessarily reliable in a sense. But, I mean batteries could be a big issue and we'll see how that happens from here on out um, but another thing I kind of want to get on is well the sticks itself the joysticks um, what there are jo joy cons yeah that's what are called joy cons um, what what is the joy cons gonna do like as far as how how much functionality are they gonna have because right now I notice there's about five buttons on each one with a stick so six buttons if you count the stick as a button itself. Um, that's a lot less than <clears throat> any normal style controller in a regular mode. 
So, I, I really feel like the to do the Joy-Con functionality, if you're just playing with one Joy-Con, with two to four players, it, it, it's going to be purely Nintendo first per, party tiles. I don't see anybody third party really using it. Maybe Overwatch. I can see Overwatch kind of going with that, but then again, you're going to have to really have an internet for that too. So, uh, you know, what, what's, what's the reliability on that as well? Um, so I, that's interesting to kind of think about those and a couple of the rumors I, I want to get onto as well, possibly new Mario title. I, I, I think that'll be given. I think that that's going to be, a, uh, something that will happen because usually Mario kind of launches somewhere near when that happens. So... Uh, you are going to get Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I love that game. That looks beautiful, as is. Um, that'll be an exciting title to get into as well. Uh, Mario, possibly a new Mario Kart. Now, the reason why I say that is, if you actually look in the um, commercial, you see him playing Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart 8 didn't have that double weird circle thing, and King Boo was not a character in the game. So, yes, it could have been promotional material, but... The way they set it up, it could be hinting at the fact that there could be an could be hinting at the fact that there uh, could be another uh, Mario Kart title coming out as well, Mario Kart Nine. So we'll see how that comes out. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I I believe they'll they'll have third party support again, like they did with the Wii U, but. Holding on to that third-party support is going to be the big key because the Wii U did not hold on to it and it it sank, sank hard. So they're going to have to be careful to make sure that they keep the third partyers happy and get them to come on board with the system. I don't think it's going to be an issue this time around, and I even think that they can even get some people like Activision and uh, doing the Call of Duty series, get onto that system. I don't think it's going to be a competitive system by any stretch. It's going to be more of competitive, or be more of matchmaking, just having fun and doing that kind of thing as well. So there's my thoughts on Nintendo NX. Um, if you do have any questions, do let me know. What do you think I got right? What do you think I got wrong? As well as any other information you guys want to hear about me, about the Nintendo NX, or my opinions. Um, if you do like this video, do please do slap a like on it. If you want to see more great content, please do subscribe today. As always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play.